This is so <laughs> Maybe I failed. <laughs> I'm looking for Nepalese husband. <laughs> this is all shit where I'm walking now. Namaste! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I don't know, but this place already feels like home. What is going on here? <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to this new video. We are still in a farm in Nepal. We're gonna do a lot of activities, farmers activities today. We're all still a little bit sick. It is really early, it's at the moment almost seven because at seven we have to be ready because we're gonna milk a buffalo. I'm a little bit scared for it, but let's do it. It's really, really cold here as you can see, especially in the morning and in the night. Good morning. <laughs> and as you can see here, the kitchen is already fully running. You can see all the spices here. And then here is the buffalo milking. Wow. <laughs> oh, the side <laughs> eye. Look at the side eye of the buffalo. I'm scared. <laughs> Bombastic side eye. <laughs> yeah. You are going to milk or not? Yes. Yes, yeah, so go. <laughs> so go. <laughs> so go. <laughs> Okay, go Susan. Okay. <laughs> Susan is gonna go first. You have a nail, so be careful with the nail, okay? Like this. Do That's not, do not okay. make a scratch over the nipples. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> 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 um. okay. Why do you make those sounds? Because I have to pull very strong. Okay, it's now my turn. I'm a little bit scared. Boat or uh, one? Uh, Try it uh, one. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> this is so... Uh, <laughs> At least I had something coming out. <laughs> um, um. I don't want to hurt um, her. Um. How do you do it? Um. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> It's actually pretty okay, but it's so hard. It feels like I'm hurting the ca the Definitely. buffalo. Does it not hurt for her? No, no. No? no. She's used to it. So how much milk does she have every day? Twice a day, they will milk. Yeah. And around uh, three liter in a one, so it's six what? liter in a day. Sixty well, liter. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, that was such an experience. It actually felt a bit weird for me <laughs> because I never did it before. But it's pretty easy. I only feel like it's so hard, so it hurts I the buffalo, it. but Here it doesn't, and it gets. Six liter per day. Yeah, per day. Six wow, six liter is a lot. For the buffalo is a lot. You need to have a good buffalo for that. Yeah, this is a good buffalo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, can we wash our hands? Yeah. Or you can smell it. No, no, I don't want I to smell. smell it. Oh, Susan. <laughs> Why did you smell it? <laughs> How do you rate the smell out of 10? It was better than yesterday. It was actually more fun than I expected. After the milking of the buffalo, he is gonna cook it again here on the fire. I think that's pretty normal to kill all the bacteria. I think people also do that with normal cow milk. And now it is time to do a ceremony or a special offer that they do every morning with the first sunlight. So let's see how it is. Good morning, Ami. Ama. I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I say Ami all the time, but it's Amma. I should remember like Mama, Amma. Yeah. Amma. 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 <laughs> As yesterday, they also started with washing all the tools for the ceremony. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Hello, Bear. Mr. Bear. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is the stinky one. This <laughs> one. <laughs> Stinky boy? No, no, no. <laughs> Wish you the gold whisperer. <laughs> he likes you. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you this is so cute. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. My shoes. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm. I want to. I want oh, to. Oh, what's happening? Morning <laughs> party. <laughs> <laughs> no, your brother. Okay. I really love it that everyone is just here living with the animals. 
and everyone just has like goats and buffaloes. It's really normal here to have one in the village. And here really early in the morning they started working already. There's another buffalo, there are more goats. She just saw this as well. All the toothbrushes are here outside. I think this is the place where Oma is gonna do the morning ceremony because yesterday they also had those flowers and those buckets. But yesterday we did it at a small temple and then it needs to be with the first sunlight of the day. But I don't know if that's the same today because right now it's already a bit later than yesterday. Buffalo milk fresh. Oh, buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> buffalo milk cooking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the fire oh. is always on. I don't know if that's true, but back in the days, if the fire is off, you need to make it all the time again. So I think the fire is always on, but I'm not sure if that still works like that. He's a big fan of the milk. Every yeah. morning he's cooking. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna try to practice all as long as possible. Oh. Good. Yes. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I just say thank you again, Sha. Danya va. Ready for the day. We have coffee today. This is so nice. Yeah, yeah, he made it with love. I made it with love. Yeah. <laughs> so it will be nice. But we didn't drink coffee for three or four days because we were also a little bit sick, of course. I'm so bad with names. How do you say thank you again? Danyabad. 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 And hello. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah. Good morning. Shuvab Bihani. Shuvab Bihani. Bihani. Okay, it reminds me of Briyani. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a good way. Shuvab. Are you guys still following? <laughs> Namaste. Hello. Yeah. Hello and also Hello. goodbye. Hello. We don't have a word for the goodbye in our language. Okay, so always Namaste. We always welcome. We don't say goodbye. This is for the guest. Okay. I feel this is for the parents. Okay. And this is for the God. Ah. So for the God, it always go above your head. After our coffee time Hello. and masala chai tea, they call it chia tea here. It is time to wash our hands because we're gonna make roti. And that's bread. And look what they are doing here. Hello. Here you can see the sunlight and there they do the same thing that we did the first day. Wow, this light is so beautiful. This just looks like a movie. I don't know. It really feels like I'm in a movie now. Okay, here she made something already and now Oma <laughs> is here. And wow, the pan is just like a circle. Shell roti. So the dough is here. She just puts it with her hand in this frying pan. So it's actually fried bread. It looks so good. Oh my god, I'm really excited for this. Oh, that's pretty quick. It's like only 30 seconds or something. Okay. There it is. That was so quick. Here she goes again. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so it's actually pretty easy. I actually think I could even do this myself. I don't know if it will taste exactly the same, but I love baking so much and cooking. I think the most special thing is just the pan and then you're maybe ready to go. I don't know the full recipe, but yeah, it's really nice. Oh, my eyes. First try, practice it over the dough. Okay. Oh, there's so many pieces inside. <laughs> oh, I love the feeling actually. Yeah. One side, definitely good, very good. Okay, she so gets it from the side. Ah, okay. So try it more over the door. So when you are doing it over the pan, please yeah. do not go very high, do not go very low. Okay. In between. Otherwise, you know, this, the, the oil will hot. Yeah, okay. Let's yeah? Go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I failed. <laughs> and I said, it's so easy, it's so easy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's see how it looks like. 
that looks like a dragon. <laughs> okay. Maybe I failed a little bit. <laughs> You like it? Okay. It still looks really tasty, but they're all small pieces. <laughs> uh oh! oh. <laughs> Janine style. Yeah, it looks like fried fish. <laughs> In Netherlands we call it kibbling. <laughs> it's kibbling, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hand. It can be a dough for the buffalo as well. The buffalo can eat it. Oh, really? Yeah, so we didn't throw anything, yeah? Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Oh. I don't know if that was a fail or a, at least I tried situation. So actually one funny thing is that they always have the kitchen outside because of the smoke in the ice. My eyes were also a bit painful. Here I just saw someone going inside this house and that's actually a toilet. And that's better for back in the days. But now if people are reconstructing their house, they're going to do the toilet inside. Especially for the older people, it's easier so you don't have to go outside in the night when it's cold. Or when you're older and you're not able to walk so good anymore, you'll have the toilet in the house but this house is a bit old as you can see so here the toilet is still outside the same for the kitchen everyone is having the kitchen outside because of the smoke and if the smoke stays all the time in the house it means that it's bad for your eyes and you can get ill earlier they just said it so that's really interesting but i think it's actually so cozy like especially this one you can just walk to the kitchen area and it's like a small house it's really nice so how are your eyes good. it's so painful right oh you're crying yeah <laughs> life is so hard you know here in naples <laughs> so beautiful what the oxes do what the oxes are doing yeah. there when the hay is there it's very hard so now the job of the ox are there to make it soften Okay. Otherwise, the buffalo and the goats cannot eat the hay. So okay. the oxes are walking on it to make it soft so the other animals can eat it, right? Definitely, yes. Yeah. Ah, I love to see this whole process, especially here with the mountains and the sun. It looks really beautiful. <laughs> it is Vishnu's turn now. <laughs> you give me pressure now. Pressure. More pressure, brother. So like this? Look how she does it, it looks so easy. Yeah. Oh, good. Vishnu, good. Some, Vishnu, good. Like <laughs> I love how much she loves Vishnu. Vishnu, pass. You can do <laughs> it. We believe in you. For life, for life. Oh, wow. Oh. That's the best one. Be careful, oh. it's hot oil. <laughs> it's really hot. It's really hot. Radish? Yeah, yeah. Go, go over there. Okay, go over there now. We're gonna have breakfast with them and I'm so happy. I'm really excited because I love how they are yep. sitting there. We go here, so we pass the shit. This is all shit where I'm walking now. Namaste! <laughs> this side, it's safe. I'm a little bit scared, of course. Hello, little friend. Hello! Yes, I put it here. This is so nice. Oh, thank you. I tried this already the first day, it's really nice. Oh, <laughs> hello! Oh my god, I love this so much. We're all sitting here next to the cows. I'm so happy right now. Oh yeah, this is, I made it with love, so I hope you like it. <laughs> Let's give it a try. We didn't try this before yet. I also want mm. some half of this. Wow, I really love it. Tasty, really yeah. tasty. Yeah. Tasty minst. Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to Indonesia. I'm going to Bali and Patahun. Indonesia, Bali. Yeah. 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 Ah. So beautiful. Ah, yeah, I've been to Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, the cows are gonna continue working. <laughs> That's the ox. Oh, the ox. Still confused about all the names. I moved to the shadow. Oh, my flower. I moved to the shadow and we got our tea again. It's so nice. Look at this. We're all sitting and eating here. The oxes are doing their work again and we have the beautiful mountain view. And the sun is behind us. It's so, so nice. I really, really love it here. The food is so good as well. Okay, they started working again because it might rain today. So we have to drink our tea quickly because otherwise the dust are coming in the tea. I 
Okay, breakfast is done. Come back. Come back to work. Uh, Put okay, it there and come back to work. <laughs> I'm gonna take my sweater. So I changed my clothes. Yeah. I don't think it's smart that I yeah. wear white. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can change here. Washing for Okay, I will change. Okay, so I'm finding my shoes back here. <laughs> I will follow him. Okay. That was my walking path. I'm gonna go quickly to the room and change my outfit because we're gonna get dirty today. Let's go up. I don't know, but this place already feels like home. I really love it. Hello, Amma. Quick outfit change later. I'm wearing a t shirt because we're gonna get dirty. There we go. I'm really curious. Let's see what we're gonna do now. Whoa. What is going on here? <laughs> you can do a backflip as well. Look. Woo! That's okay. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hey. We're gonna help the oxes again. The same as we did two days ago. But now it is time to do it again. Let's do it. already <sighs> I'm exhausted we're actually like kids who are playing look at them I have again so much respect for people who work every day like this so many hours per day from sunrise to sunset the whole day and here the goats are being seated Come, come. Spot, yeah. Should I get my phone? Oh, no, no. Yeah, just for the quick one, so it's good for the video. Okay, I love that you're thinking about our videos. <laughs> Hello! Namaste! Oh. Vishnu is flying the drone. <laughs> so cool. Okay, we're off to the next location. We have to bring this. They gave Susan this basket. Let's see what we're gonna do and where we end up now. We are down in the rice terrace again i'm still holding this we walked all the way like 10 minutes through the rice terrace and i'm only wearing slippers because my shoes from yesterday are soaking wet susan is still carrying the thing okay we're now gonna harvest the rice and here you can see that amma is doing it already she has a knife oh by the way it's really good if you do it on white socks <laughs> that looks beautiful. highly recommend <laughs> And here you can see that Amma is doing it. So fast. I think that's really nice. Sorry. So it's done with a knife like this and I'm gonna do it here. I've never done this, I only just saw how they did it. Good? Good. Nani? Nani good? It's actually really nice. Then you end up with this. This is not balanced, okay? Okay. We, we make it balanced like this. Okay. Okay. And put it here. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. I love it. Not so hard. <laughs> we are almost done, as you can see. Everything is laying here. We only have this small last part. And the boys are slapping the rice already. This is a pretty hard job. Especially because it's in the bright sun, but uh, yeah, I love to see what all the farmers here do. This is really a farmer activity video. <laughs> Ami had this thing on her Amma. body. Amma. So I asked her, what is it? And the knife can go inside. <laughs> it's an instrument now. Really nice. We are on the way to the boys here and look what they're doing. They are slapping the dried rice on this stone. Whoa! So much power.
This is so impressive to see. This is for all the strong guys and we're gonna go to the next step. Let's take our slippers and go to the next spot. After the rice is dried or the strains, I don't know how to call it. They're gonna get it all together and put it here on this thing. And then they carry it to one of those big things. And after that, the ox is gonna step on it like this morning. So now we've seen the whole process. I hope it's clear in the video because I don't even know exactly how it works, but I'm trying to explain. <laughs> but here you can see how this lady does it. Susan is gonna try it as well. Yes. <laughs> she does it with a knife, but it's also possible without the knife. I'm gonna use the knife. Yeah? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. In no. the beginning with the hand. Okay, okay in the beginning with the hand. I'm gonna do it with the hand. <laughs> no knives for Susan today. Yes. You kind of that side. It? Oh. Hold it from that side, okay? Yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, can you do that? I can. <laughs> it's not happy though. No? No, it's okay. I have to go up here. Uh -huh. Tepski. Oh. Okay. 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 okay, he's gonna take it over. Susan almost falls down. <laughs> he puts okay. it at the side. So all the rice is gonna be in the middle. Yeah. This is already with the rice. Oh, here, here the rice come, is not slept yet. Come yeah, here, it's not Snapchat. We made it back to the guys here who are still slapping the rice. So actually we've seen the whole process now. It was pretty impressive to see. Yeah, and they said that this takes days to organize everything. So from sunrise until sunset, everyone is just working and it all depends on the season. And now it's rice harvesting season. Yeah, it's really beautiful to see, especially here in the mountains. So beautiful. They said that they don't sell any of the rice. It's only for all the family. And they still have to buy 20% extra rice. So actually they're working full time here on the farm from sunrise till sunset, only to have food for their whole family. And they even have to buy extra I don't know, it's like really impressive for me to hear, especially because I work online and it's a really, really different world. But I love to see it and everyone is so caring and they all do it for their family. <laughs> it's like a game. <laughs> this is heavier than it looks. <laughs> Can you film your own face? Like <laughs> It's like three strong men and then Janine in between. <laughs> and leave it there. Okay. Do it, do it here. Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. And other people will smash, smash it on, on it. Top. So you'll be easier for you. Nice. Okay, so there are two different types of rice and this is one type. This is not to eat, but this is to harvest next year. So they will plant this rice to make the new rice plants. And all the rice we just did is for eating. And talking about food, we're gonna walk up now because the sister made some food and then we're gonna carry it in the bag and we're gonna bring it all here so we can all eat lunch here together with the workers. It's just uh, once again really impressive how they do this every day in the full sun. <laughs> We just got this out of the tree. We can just eat it? Yeah, you can eat I get flashbacks from India with the leaves. Yeah. Did you just eat it? Mm -hmm. Very unique. Mm. <laughs> I love it. It's really sour. <laughs> what, what fruit is this called? It's so dry. Oh, it looks no, juicy, no, but it's really yeah, dry yeah. on your tongue. It tastes like a grape. A leaf. What's, the, what's yeah, the name again? Kauro. Kauro. Okay guys, we made it back because we're gonna get lunch soon. Now we have a 20 minutes break. My hands are completely dirty and I'm eating an apple. So always bring your own snacks. But actually I am so flabbergasted. Like I'm so surprised how hard they work. Of course you know it and you always see it and hear it. But when you do it yourself, it's so hard, especially in the full sun. I have so, so much respect for all the farmers. Like, wow. All the food is in there. Okay. You can trust me with the camera. Yeah. Oh, okay. You good? Yeah. Wow. Hold it with your hands. Yeah. Yes. Because, hey, all the food is here. Yeah, she looks at me like, I got this and I know she doesn't. So I'm like, hold it with your we, hands. We're all gonna be hungry. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's in my hands, guys. I am the most clumsy person from the group, probably, and I'm carrying all the food right now. They are still going strong here. <laughs> That's crazy. Woo! So we actually just had a little rest for like 20 minutes. I changed the batteries, everything, and now it's off for lunch. Bye guys! Bye! Bye. See you! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs> they always love Bye. my... It's so cute. 
we made it. I just carried this thing with the food and pans and pots. I don't know exactly what it is. You smashed it. I did it. <laughs> Yesterday we did it with the cow shit. <laughs> yeah, the warm up. Yeah. You can handle it with the cow shit. It was like 10 times. Food. Yeah, it was 10 <laughs> times heavier. <laughs> so it was actually okay. It's only the road here is not really stable, but everything went fine. So here are all the plates and now we're gonna make the plates ready. Okay, so she's now gonna offer to the nature and then we are allowed to eat. How much? Just like this? Yeah, this is for everyone, so you can measure yourself. Okay. We are done with eating. The food was really, really nice. And now, Amma is putting all the leftovers in this bucket here, and then she's gonna give it later to the buffaloes. So nothing goes to waste here. Even the water they wash their hands with after eating, they put it in the basket, and then the buffaloes will eat it. After food, we have a little break of one hour. The food was really, really nice. We're now in our room. I might take a cold shower. There's only a cold shower here. Or we have to ask for the bucket of water, but we will do that tonight. So I'm gonna take a cold shower after this and the locals are still working now they just had a lunch break and they're all gonna continue working so i actually feel a bit guilty but yeah i don't know it's so impressive to see how motivated they are this is their life and they don't even do it to earn money but just to have food for themselves if you wonder who is this and why is he wearing an outfit every two hours <laughs> that's because every activity is different and our cl clothes got so dirty from the last activity so i changed and now i realized it's too cold so i'm gonna wear the jacket over now we are gonna try a local outfit actually oh i completely forgot that so i'm gonna change again in the next shot <laughs> and after that we're gonna cook some traditional dal with rice and veggies and everything that we actually eat here all the time so i'm really excited about it i just tried to remove the dot because i just did a nap and i woke up and i looked so destroyed so i was like okay let's do a little touch up yeah so that's why my forehead is red we are gonna try to make hot pot chot pot chot pot <laughs> we are gonna make chot pot now and actually we saw this on the street before it's instant noodle yeah. normally with onion but we skipped that today then the puffed rice, yeah, puffed rice. and cooked oh, yeah. oil we're gonna mix it all in a bottle and i think yeah. it comes with sauce as well That's so like let's a, give it a try um, cooked lemon juice is, yeah. is dark yeah mm. once you cook the lemon juice it's become dark ah. You've only had a, a raw lemon juice until now. Yeah, I think so. I never had this before. And chilies. I think it's really spicy, right? Yeah, that's, that's good. What, what is that? Eat it. It's oh, what is that? <laughs> oh my god. My whole mouth just ran down. <laughs> so what wow. is it? That's the lemon. Cooked, Cooked lemon, lemon juice. Well. Cooked god. lemon juice. Ooh. Maybe you need the water? Uh, yes. <laughs> she's yeah. chopping the tomato in small pieces. It's really nice that she's doing it because she's the kitchen princess out of the two of us. Ah. Queen energy. <laughs> yes. Queen without her Nepalese king. Yeah. <laughs> Still looking for one. <laughs> Comment down below. <laughs> Put all the proposals to her email. Yeah. <laughs> no. You can also send me a DM on Instagram. <laughs> you can cook Nepalese dishes now. Yeah. 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 Please. She's even a better one. Life now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it takes a while, guys, because I do it with love. Mm -hmm. oh. Ooh. Ooh, the smell here. That's what makes it. Mm. Thank you, Oma. <laughs> this is the dangerous part. Yeah, that's the. Some cooked oil we just added as well. This feels so unnatural for me. Yeah, right? Dried or unboiled noodles. It's like raw spaghetti. Oh, but it smells already nice. Yeah, it looks nice as well. Mm -hmm. So now he just did some spices as well. Chat pot. Chat pot. Mm. Oh, I like it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really nice. I was a bit critical because it's instant noodles, but it's actually really nice. It is. Oh, wow. that's good to Janine. 
<laughs> For you guys, I think you have experienced the. We have kind of like a dry noodles also in Indo. This is definitely interesting, yeah. yeah. The, <laughs> I love that. I don't know how to describe. It, it's just like sour. Different I think. spices. Different spices. It just mixed mm. together. It's like, yeah. But do you like it or not? Yeah, I can give it maybe one to ten, maybe eight. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. Enjoy. <laughs> Yay. It is time to try the traditional wedding dresses, right? I no. think they use it for weddings. No. Celebrating my queen era. <laughs> we are putting on the traditional ceremony outfit. We're halfway, so I'm gonna show you when we're done. But they're folding everything really... I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it looks really elegant. I love it. I'm looking for Nepalese husband. <laughs> <laughs> already <laughs> marriage outfit is already done. <laughs> We are wearing oh, this. Oh, no boys allowed, sorry. Oh my Not yet. Oh my Bye. God. <laughs> Bye. Only husbands. Only husbands allowed here. Whoa. <laughs> oh, he came back. So we are wearing the sari now, and now we're gonna do my hair again. Susan is ready. It's Almost. Beautiful. I still need this. The tika. Now we have the tika. Okay. She is braiding so fast it's actually really comfortable we're wearing the necklace again i'm wearing a green top with glitters Ooh. they are fighting it's a little bit later and i'm wearing the outfit look at this with the bracelet same like yesterday we have the tika that's the dot on our face and i actually really love it the green and red combination and red is actually the color of life that's why a lot of women here are always wearing red as you can see so now i'm ready to marry yes. <laughs> wedding ceremony tonight okay so now i have this on my head as well i love <laughs> like we're just different humans again yes. like so in which life are we now <laughs> so this is the full it. outfit I'm with the thing on the head the tika the hair is braided with extra fabric the necklace the top with all the glitters then this is on top and like a skirt it's actually pretty comfortable and officially you can marry in those outfits oh oh the ox is escaping hello <laughs> i'm gonna find my nepali husband tonight <laughs> this is the outfit to marry right but there's a fight going on with the oxes. It's not always fun here. There's always something happening in Barang village. Now the oxes are fighting. We found two Nepalese husbands, so we're gonna get married now. <laughs> the deal is done. What, what kind of deal is that? I yeah, we had 1,000 horses. <laughs> <laughs> I had to pay five do? buffaloes and six horses. Okay. She had to pay a little bit more, but we... No, I'm gonna get 1,000 horses. <laughs> 1, As a gift. Okay, we made it to the rooftop. And let me know in the comments what do you think of this outfit. I rate it out of 10. I'm really curious about your opinions. Okay, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And if you would ever marry in an outfit like this. I really love this detail of the hair because my own hair is inside and then they just added this to the bottom. It's really cute. <laughs> I'm still on the rooftop by the way and this is the view. <laughs> I love the kids, they're playing in this house here. I almost want to join. I love it, they're all playing. This is so cute. Woo! <laughs> She went so many times. Look how cute all the kids here. Woo! Wow! Woo! Oh, they're doing a battle. They all want to show their moves. This is Asmita. Hi! <laughs> and she helped us yesterday and today to wear the beautiful outfit. I still have this. Oh, now it's done. And she is living here in this village. It's really nice. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> It is now time that we're gonna join them to cook. I'm really excited and curious. I love cooking, so I'm curious how they do it here and to see all their processes and rituals and how we make dal. Dal is the typical Nepali food. Rice, rice tomato, beans, iskush, dry spinach, dry spinach, spinach, lentils. Ah. 
Nice. Say it with me. Soybeans. Soybean. Soybean. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Soybean. Oh, it's spices. Mm. How do you say it? Jimbu. Jimbu. So there are so many things where we're gonna cook with. I actually know most of them. I only never use this dried spinach. And there's potato and onion. So there are many different things. Okay, I arrived in the kitchen with my friend. <laughs> and now I'm stirring the rice because otherwise it's gonna get stuck to the bottom of the pan. It's a lot of rice as you can see. And here you can see the fire. Oh, sorry. Oops, I'm wasting. <laughs> okay, first time. Oh, here. <laughs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And now? Now this one is covered. Covered, okay. So now we just leave the rice here because we took the fire away and it only needs 10 more minutes. Okay, we're gonna cover it now. So much smoke, eh? Yes. Oh, my eyes. Wow, your eyes is not painful. You're used to it. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Let's check the time lapse. I'm making a time lapse because the sunset is really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna crush this now. This is sesame, toasted sesame, and it smells really, really good. <laughs> this is how you actually do, do it. I made, I did completely wrong. <laughs> it still works. That's just gonna take more time, right? Yeah. Oh, I it love this hungry. smell. Yeah, Gabby's hungry. He's hungry. He's like, let me do this. <laughs> I will take over. I want to eat. It's actually so nice. Like everyone is here. Uh -huh. It feels like a Sunday afternoon at my grandparents' place when I was younger. Is this done? Yeah. Yeah, this is done. Mix with my hand. It feels so unnatural as well. It feels wrong. So guys, if you are a Naples husband and you want a wife who can cook, <laughs> don't go to her. Come to me. Oh, so she's gonna put tomato in the fire now to grill it or roast it. Mm, so you get the smoked flavor. Yes. Wow, it's really in the fire. I've never seen that. Prawn. Prawn. Cracker. In Indonesia they say krupuk. Krupuk. Really nice. Everyone loves Krupuk. Namaste! <laughs> hardest worker. <laughs> yeah, really. He's really hardest worker. Yeah. It's really nice here, as you can see. Yeah, we're very social. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will cook for everyone. We're gonna make Krupuk. I just made this all by myself. No, just kidding. Everyone here is helping. Wow, we get oil out of the Coca-Cola bottle. <laughs> I, I really love it. I will do this as well. <laughs> Let's have a look here. Oh, it looks really nice and juicy. Yeah. Wow. And it smells really good as well. Here are the magic spices. This one? Yes. I know. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. I love this thing, by the way. Okay, we're now going to make the kruk kruk. This is so satisfying. Nice. We just made all those crackers. It's so satisfying to do. And if you're Indonesian, we call it kruk kruk. And now this is i think almost ready as well it smells really really nice and this is doll so nice it smells so so good i know that many people are obsessed with doll and i definitely want to learn how to make it we're maybe even gonna learn it tomorrow morning and here we have it enjoy enjoy i made it back to the room i really have to go to the toilet but it was so nice. The food was really, really good. Now I'm walking back and look at the moon. 
Tomorrow we're gonna leave this family and I'm actually gonna miss them so much. I really feel at home. People are so nice. I even know how to cook the traditional food now. Yeah, it's just really nice. It's a little bit later. I'm gonna remove my makeup. We actually only have cold water here. So I'm gonna wash myself a little bit, but I'm not gonna go for the shower again because it's too late to ask for the bucket with hot water. So I'm just gonna remove my makeup and after that I'm gonna wash myself in a shower with ice cold water. Today was actually so much fun. We really did a lot of activities. What people do on the farm. Wow. There's also foundation, but my foundation is not this dark. Whoa, this is so disgusting. It was so much fun today. We actually had a really good day. We learned how to cook the food. We did all the activities in the field. I only have more respect for the people now. Like they work so, so hard. Like you can't imagine, like I'm exhausted already and we only did like everything a little bit. And that doesn't count. Like those people work so, so hard, but it was really, really nice to experience and to stay here for two days. Tomorrow we're gonna go back to Pokhara. That's the place where we stayed before as well. We're gonna stay the whole day and just one night. And then we're gonna take a bus to uh, Chitwan, a new place in Nepal where we all haven't been yet. So I'm super excited for that. So tomorrow at 10 o'clock, the taxi is gonna bring us back to Pokhara. It's a one hour drive. We're gonna go in a Jeep again, which we also did when we arrived here. And I really, really loved that car. Yeah, I think that's it. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you don't want to miss any of all my other videos, don't forget to subscribe down here. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hey, 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 hey. Good morning. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> and I just tried Vishnu's head. Ooh.